Welcome to the semifinals of the National Invitational Tournament. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale. This should be a very entertaining game between the Virginia Commonwealth Rams and the Indiana Hoosiers. And, of course, here's our starting lineup. Check out the shooting guards. These kids are a treat to watch. They're in the starting lineup for a reason and should not disappoint. step out and go inside is really special. He gives you that flexibility, which makes the offense multifaceted. Here comes the ball screen. Goes up with a shot. Busts the J. I think he ought to have some weak side help there, Dick. Well, he should have, but the rest of the team was out of lunch at one of your restaurants. Brad Nestler's restaurant. There's the team, baby. Side in the lane, off the mark, pushes it up. The Rams have been making some strides and are really improving. And I'm sure as a coach, Dick, you always like it when your team's playing great basketball. Hey, they've been playing well these past few weeks. Steady improvement is all a coach can really ask for. Them. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Guesses it off the backboard. Out on the way. I love that blocked shot, Brad. Really gives you a lot of momentum. Laid it on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Do they need a timeout here? Yeah, their voice is beginning to fade. what they're known for and what they've been demonstrating so far. Don't look for that to change. Our truck had his shot rejected. Coach wants them to set up offensively now. Tries for two. Off the glass and no good. 
getting it a 2-3 smart at this point, you think, Dick? As long as they keep their hands up and they rotate correctly. On the outside. For two. Off the glass and no good. Pushing in transition. They're working around the arc. From right in the circle. And scoring. perimeter. Pushing that basketball. We're going to move it around the perimeter. He puts up the three ball. Jumping didn't look pretty. I can tell you that. That baby was ugly. Inside. Around eight minutes remaining. They're working around the perimeter. Now looking for the pick. Hey, it's important that the dribbler really turns that corner hard when he's using that ball screen. No good. There's what the game tempo is looking like tonight. Well, Brad, as the meter indicates, the game has been pretty balanced in terms of tempo. Some short possessions and a few longer ones. On the dribble, gives it up. He shoots the jumper. Nope. Gave it up. He's going nowhere. Oh, Ball's no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. You gotta eliminate those turnovers. Knocks it down. Had a momentary look from three-point land. For the bucket. Seven minutes left on the game clock. Goes up for two. Gets it to fall. Side. He tries to knock down the three. Excellent jump shot right there. <laughs> Looking for a good shot. He rejects it. Here they go into the break. Come up short on the left side. The Hoosiers usually play a certain type of basketball. They have that raw, huge strength, which they like to use to their advantage. They're the type of team who thrives from the contact. Defense all over them here. Shoots from the corner. The Rams have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That is on fire. Out on the right wing. Coach, and it's blocked. We'll stay right here. Ball has really stepped it up tonight, Dick. I tell you, no, he's been stepping it up, man. He's really come to play tonight. Take a look. What a great performance for that. Tell you, he's fun to watch. They'll throw it in from the side. So defense right now. Got to move with each pass. Sometimes the skip pass, very effective against the zone. Jumper. Jumper won't go. He drains it. That was a nice play, Dick. They got into one of the most valuable parts of the court, Mr. Wrestler. The high post is a goal line if you can make the right decisions with the ball. There was no doubt about that one. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. The Rams, according to their coaching staff, have been doing a great job creating this up-tempo style. He's been praising their efforts and would like the team to continue to force the issue. They want easy baskets and transition. That's their strategy. Of course, Aaron Andrews, our correspondent on the sideline. Coach looking to change his lineup. There's a double team waiting there. From the top of the key, he takes another bad shot. That shot's killed chemistry, Brad. 
Look the perimeter. Spacing so important. They're 15 to 17 feet apart. The Rams have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep getting the ball. It's simple. About four minutes remaining on the game clock. They work the perimeter. And it's knocked away. Great block. They just keep trying to break through that zone. But this zone is ready for everything today. Takes his jumper. Scores it. Cross court. Time to pick up the defense here now. Out on the wing. The mark. Now in transition. For two. Nails the jumper. Up and inside. Three minutes left on the game clock. Way out on the right wing. In spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like that. He gets the rejection. Ball picks up the foul. First team foul. Oh, it looked like he had an easy basket coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He was able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. Another great sophomore right here, Dick. He may be young, but if he's on the floor for this team, you know he's willing and able to contribute any way he can. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. He misses it. Grabs the rebound. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, field the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. They work it around the perimeter. There's the block. He draws a foul. He gets the tough layup and a foul to go with it, Dick. Hey, that was awesome, baby, but a tap of the leg. a look at the first year play. You know, playing at this level can be a tough adjustment for some kids. Others make the jump with ease. It all depends on what kind of team you have around you and how hard you are willing to work to get better. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the mark. Fisher receives the pass. We're still in the foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. Well, he commits an intentional foul there to prevent the easy basket. Well, it's a smart play, Brad, especially if you can afford to use a personal foul. I like his mentality. No easy basket. To the charity strike. They are terrible at the free throw line that I did. Frustration only makes it worse, Brad. They have to figure out what they're doing wrong and fix it. Two minutes left on the game clock. Working it around the perimeter. From the corner, the missed shot. Slam. Takes it strong to the hoop. Fonte is a beast with a capital B. He uses his strength and size to carve out space and create scoring opportunities for himself and his teammates. For the bucket, that's the shot. On the outside. 
outside. One minute left to go from beyond the arc. For the deuce, they got the offensive rebound and the stick back. the shot. Carter manages to keep it in. Ball's going to stay down here. The Rams are moving the ball well. They're getting contributions from a number of players on both ends of the court, Dick. You know, as a coach, it's great to get all five guys on the floor working together. That's how you get wins. It takes the pressure off of your stars and it gets the opposition fixed. Play on the base 
fly. Now a 10 to shoot. They move it into the front court. That's a foul. such a thing as a good foul. That was probably it. Sure was, Brad. He found him for the easy basket. You know, seniors are a dying breed in college basketball these days. If you are a coach that is lucky enough to have a couple, it can definitely help you sleep at night knowing there are guys in your team who know what you want and know what it takes to be successful. See who will benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. Here's a double team. Fisher handles the pass. With a rejection. Look at that spacing. He looks for three. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. Gave it up for two. The shot won't fall. Parnell handles the pass. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. On the outside. Around eight minutes remaining. And he goes with a spin. I tell you, feel the defensive player on your hip. Going one way, you spin back the other way. Nails the jumper. a ball screen here, Dick. Well, you got to use that screen. Hey, how to dribble and use the screen is important in a pick-and-roll situation. Parnell receives the ball. Cross court. Three. Nope. Gets the rebound. 
as soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. He throws it up from downtown. Off the mark. Pushes it up. He shoots from downtown. These rims are giving him trouble, Dick. They can't get anything to drop. These guys have been rock bottom. Their confidence at the moment couldn't be any lower. They're working around the arc. 2 3 old. Got to get that wing. Got to get that gap. Moving it around the perimeter. The senior commits a turnover. On the dribble, gives it up. Oh, he's got hops like you, man. He's got hops <laughs> like you. Yeah, it is pretty similar. Ah, then he realized my partner was a high riser. <laughs> the wing for the bucket he hits it a great drive to the hoop right there Dick. doing a wonderful job putting the ball on the floor and getting into the painted area gets the jay to fall we're going to move it around the perimeter such a thing as a good foul, but that might have been one right there, Dick. Hey, Mr. Nessler, I like that type of play. He's saying to the defense, no easy baskets for you. We're going to force you to make shots. There's a snapshot of some of his averages. His stats only tell part of the story, Brad, but as a coach, if you have a few players who can average double figures in multiple statistical categories, you're a lucky guy. Possessions are short, and the speed of play is frantic. Probably one of the most entertaining styles of play. Collins handles the pass. Can't connect. He shoots from the deep corner. Off the mark. And a momentary look from three-point land. About four minutes remaining. Throws it up for two. The Hoosiers got some good ball reversal there. Hey, coach has to be happy with the offensive execution. Some great ball reversals giving him some open looks right now, Brad. I'll tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. I want a rack, baby. Little Pipsy do Dunkaroo. Little zone defense right now, Brad. coming up, but the defense commits the foul instead. Great play there, Brad. He's able to foul him in order to prevent the easy basket. He steps up to the line. Misses the first shot. And Dick, they just can't seem to find the touch from the line tonight. Well, no time for lessons, Brad. They gotta start knocking him down before it's too late, baby. Second one, no good. 
The free throw line is really doing a number on this team tonight, Dick. Well, you know, don't blame the line, Brad. It's just laying there. These kids just aren't knocking them down. I tell you, they're getting free ones tonight and not making them count. He can't get the hoop to fall. Got it. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the corner. The Rams have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. God, he's on fire. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Coach about to change up the lineup here. They've yet to put together a decent string of good looks at the basket. Hey, they're getting frustrated and playing right into the defense's hand. On out. Handles the feed. This one could be over. It sure is, Brad. They have no chance of getting back into this one. Ball comes up with it. Now in transition in the low block. He pulls up with a jumper. Plus the jumper. Two minutes left on the game clock. Puts it on the floor and up and under. Missed the jumper. for a play to resume. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. The Rams will be adjusting their current play style. The coaches on the bench are in agreement that they should slow down the current pace of play. They feel that this change will help them immediately. I'm not sure if it will, but we'll definitely continue to monitor this. Guys? All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. and a foul. Let's take another look at this deep three. And here's what it looks like if you average out his numbers over the course of the season. Every game you have to bring it. It doesn't matter if you have two points or 20. Everybody in the squad has to be ready to get it done if they're called upon. Concentration, got to concentrate. Way Big short. City. He hits the second shot. Pushes it up. He makes the block. Loose ball. Great play. One minute left on the game clock. Puts up the J and come up short. Fisher handles the pass. They work the perimeter. He bombs from outside. They're having an extremely tough time from the field here today, Dick. Wow, I'm speechless, Brad. You know, that never happens. I don't know what to say. They couldn't be shooting the ball any worse. From the corner. They're having a rough time getting it on the draw, Brad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. will count for two plus the harm. Hey, he sized the defender up and protected the ball going in for the layup. Boy, was that beautiful. Steps 
to the line in hopes of capping the three-point play. Nope. Shot clock is dead. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Kicks it out. see that coming and a little bit lazy on the defensive end. Just to excitement with that jam. Coming inside. He puts up the tray. Missed it. That completes our coverage of the second round. Be sure to return for the finals as we anticipate the best tournament game so far. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Dick, we had a couple of great performances out there today, and here are our players of the game. These kids were awesome out there, both working hard and looking to help their teams any way they could, Brad. And that's what you like to see from players like this at this level. our players of the game for this one tonight. I tell you, Brad, all the accolades are nice, but getting the W is the main goal. Thank <laughs> you.